Staying in Georgia and let there be light. All right, I got a little bit closer than I thought I was going to get. I thought I put the camera far back enough, but I guess I didn't. But in today's vlog, I'm giving y'all updates on the Land Cruiser, the 2005 Land Cruiser, not the 1999 over there. But um, yeah, so the lights in here. Well, there's, we've been, I've been doing a couple things to this truck since uh, off camera during the winter vlogging season and with my newborn son. A few of those, most of those things have to do inside. So let's go inside so I can show you. Like I said, I've been trying to get this truck clean and not clean, just fix everything that's wrong with it for the most part. And there's very few things. One of the things that was really, really pissing me off the most was, I don't know if y'all ever noticed in any of our older vlogs, but we had a big hole right here in our headliner and all these random holes everywhere. And I was able to fix that. I got this piece right here off of eBay. Um, yeah, I got this piece off of eBay. It was kind of confusing, but I finally got the right part. Filled this part in. I can show what it looks like now. And then filled that in, got a functioning light again because the wiring was all types of jacked up and crazy. So I had to pull all this aftermarket stuff out because I guess there was a uh, television receiver or something here at one point, as you can see from this outline. But then we had all these holes in the sunroof, not sunroof, headliner. And I had to figure out a way to plug up all these headliners. So one day I had like these little patches and stuff with me and I realized that this ma headliner material is very, very good for Velcro. And I had like a patch like this, like this is my old rank patch. So I just like stuck them up here and stuff and have filled in most of the holes as y'all can see. But there's one other thing that I want to do today. I would like to try some LED lights in here and see how much brighter it can get because it's honestly at in nighttime, it's really still dark in here, even with these lights on. So we're going to see what some Amazon uh, LED things can do. Let's see how bright it can get. Hopefully not too bright to the point where it's like messing our eyes up. But you get what I'm saying. All right, got to do this quick because we got to go to a birthday party and I don't want to get in trouble with the wife. So I'm going to try to pop this piece off and change this one first. And the item I'm going to be changing it with is this. I Bright Star... What does that say? I Bright Star newest 9-3 Easy Lights Xeon White. Uh, they sent me like, well, I paid for it. Unsponsored video. I paid for it, but they sent me uh, like eight of these things. And uh, yeah, we're about to find out. We're about to mess around and find out, man. They pack this thing like drugs. Wide view. This is what these things look like. Uh, can you see this? Has a little heat sink built on it. LEDs on that side. Contrary to popular look popular belief leds can get pretty hot so uh yeah let's pop this thing up in here and see how uh hot fire this thing gets so popping this thing off let me show you how it's done i'm gonna use this plastic thing there we go yes i did it i did it all right so we're gonna replace that one with this other one so this one is probably hot because i'm trying to move fast Ooh, don't burn me oh whoa Boy, that was hot. Oh, no, don't burn the seat. Don't burn the seat. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is that thing so hot? It shouldn't be that hot. All right, now we're going to install this one. I put a glove on. I don't know if it's necessary to have a glove on with LEDs. All right, let's see if I can squeeze this thing up in here. Uh, into these pins. I might need to get another tool. No, I missed. Ah, ah, get in there. Okay, I'm going to have to get a light. All right, got a light now. Let's see if this helps. It should. This DeWalt light, by the way. This thing is mega. See if I can do it now. I'm touching this thing with my hand. Oh, well, that gets rid of the point of the glove. I guess as long as you don't have any lotion, it's okay. It's not like it's like super high current going through this. All right. Got one in. It's weird, but it's in there. It almost seems like it's too big. I guess that's the way it goes. Damn it! <laughs> I had it in there and knocked it out. All right, I got one in. So let's see how bright it is. Whoa, man, that's 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 bright. I like it. All right, let's see if we can do all of them. Boy, that's bright. Hopefully when the diffuser is on there, it won't be too crazy. But let's go ahead and knock them all out. Yeah, that's like the staring at the sun bright. You know, I just had a thought. I wonder if I should put a not so bright version of this over here and over here or maybe even red 
so that if you're driving at night and you have a passenger that wants to read, it can be read instead of, hmm. I'm gonna ponder that. All right, so I tried to put one of these over here and they're slightly big. I'm sure I could force it in there, but maybe I can get one that's just a little, maybe two millimeters smaller. All right, so after some heavy pondering, this is the configuration that we're gonna rock with in the middle. I'll show y'all real quick in a hot second. There we go. Oh, my glove. All right, so this is the configuration for the rear. We're gonna do this right now. And then we might go red, or we might go like maybe LED amber or something like that. These are just the regular ones right here, but we might swap it out. We don't know yet. We, we, we're working on it. So now let's go to the back. And there we have it. You see what it looks like. It's really bright, especially in the daytime. We're going to see what it looks like at night now. I think I probably could have gone maybe a few millimeters smaller. These seem like they might have been too big. I'm not sure what size they sent me, but I don't know. They work. So we're gonna see what they look like at night right now. All right, so it is almost nighttime. It's 6.30 and it's cloudy. So it's already like really, really dark in Atlanta and it's winter time. And I'll tell you, these things are so bright. Um, so my wife and Sonya and everybody just got out and I'm gonna show y'all how bright these things is. I'm gonna put my glasses on first because it's so bright watch this wow isn't that crazy how bright this is and you can see everything now and yes it is a massive improvement over the other bulbs very happy with it all right so what have we learned here uh, we have learned that these bulbs are super, super, super bright. And if you want this look, I highly suggest them. Like, as you can see, I'm in the, my garage right now. It's pitch black outside, but it's even darker out here because there's no street lights. And you can see how well these bulbs illuminate the entire vehicle. This is really bright. I mean, I got my glasses on just for like, hey, comedic whatever but i mean these things are like massively bright like when i take my glasses off it's very bright very well illuminated i can literally see everything in the car like you know you know how those like those nights when you've been on a long drive and you get to wherever you're going and you're tired and you're like oh where is so and so it's too dark you ain't gonna have that problem with this this is proper bright the color is it's not too bad and honestly with the diffuser on there it's like when you look directly at it, yeah, it, it, it hurts your eyes. But as long as you're not looking directly at it, I mean, it's pretty good. Now, if you're like, you know, driving and your passenger is trying to read, I don't know if I would use this for that. So I think I'm going to put either amber or red, more than likely red LEDs in these. Because the only time you really use those is at night. You know, if I have a passenger in the back of the car who wants to read something while we're driving down the highway, then... They'll be able to use that, and I mean, most people use tablets now anyway, so I don't really see that being a problem. But other than that, I really like this, and I think I'm going to stick with it. So I'm your brother Reza, this is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. And uh, yeah, if you want to do this to your Land Cruiser, I want to get some sunglasses, because it's bright. I almost wish I had a dimmer switch. See y'all in the next vlog. Peace. Oh yes, one other thing that people ask me about a lot is our wheel tire combo. Do we still love them? Oh yes, we definitely love them. Do they rub? A little bit, yes and no. So it doesn't really rub for the most part, but if you can see this piece right here, every once in a while, this little piece right here does hit the tire, but it's at very specific angles and a very specific turning radius that you will uh that we get a little bit of rubbing other than that as you can see we've been riding these things for quite some time now and yeah it's no rubbing but they're beautiful wheels <laughs>